another piece of my past that's back, the Sony Walkman, but this time to the tune of $1,200. I'm sure the audio is top quality, but can you actually tell the difference? We're looking at high fidelity audio solutions from the world of tomorrow on The Futurist. Yep, that monkey is relaxing, listening to his Walkman circa 1986. That model, at the time, went for about $150, but the Sony Walkman of 2015 goes for a whopping $1,200. That seems a little bit steep, but Sony isn't targeting your average consumer. No, they're after audiophiles, people who will gladly pay a premium for high fidelity audio. Now you have an opportunity to really bring that quality up to a level of its as if the artist intended it. And there's definitely hardware in these high-end products that warrants a big price tag, but there are some cheaper solutions that arguably sound just as good. First up, giving the new Sony Walkman a run for its money is the Fio X1. It has an all-aluminum body and a compact design which makes it lightweight. And best part, it's less than 100 bucks. Next, once you have the player, you'll need some headphones. But forget Beats by Dre. Those can run anywhere from 200 to 500 bucks. Instead, go with Grado, a Brooklyn-based hi-fi company specializing in handmade headphones. Their model, the Prestige Series SR60E, will only set you back around $70, and audiophiles have sung the praises of its powerful bass and mid-range sound. And finally, once your ear gear is up, it's time for some hi-fi audio files. Yep, not all formats are created equal. In fact, the ubiquitous MP3 format is one of the worst for quality. Instead, you're gonna want uncompressed files like FLAC. It's a little bit complicated, but websites like HD Tracks are a great place to buy these types of music files for about what you pay on iTunes. Flying high with Hi-Fi on The Futurist.